friends and welcome back to the Nurture for Kids Garden. All right, so I'm really excited today. Two things, it's a gorgeous day outside and we have a lot going on in the garden. So what you're looking at here is my second row of carrots. Um, if you're wondering why there are boards on top of the carrots, it's not uh, gonna hurt them from sprouting. It's just keeping them moist underneath some leaves. And because it's been a windy day, I don't want the leaves to get blown off. Okay, we've got, a, we've got our garlic here. We have some spinach that are growing in between the garlics here and here and all the way down. We also have our cone flowers that bring in a whole lot of awesome bees, great pollinators for the garden. Some peas coming up here. They're surrounding my purple cauliflower that I'm really excited about. That's starting to sprout up. And moving along down here, we have more peas that are coming up. And this is gonna be really, really good nitrogen for the cauliflower and my broccoli that's here. And a good grower always plans on um, some sort of disaster. So I planted extra seeds of my cauliflower and broccoli and those are coming up still so what I'm gonna be doing is sharing those with my friends so over here we have beets that are sprouting up and in the front we have some radishes that are sprouting up so another reason why I'm so excited is it was a little touch and go with my peppers I didn't know whether or not they were ever gonna sprout but here they are welcome to the party peppers we also have our tomatoes that are looking really good. I'm gonna to have to thin those out. Here we have lime basil that had to be potted up because they were running out of space. And we started them in a planter just like this. And I transplant them into these. So now they'll have enough room to grow some more. And they're very, very happy there. So we have some more buds forming on our pepper plant. And pretty soon, uh, when it's warm enough, I can take this outside just to check in on my peanuts. Ooh, let's go out to the ball game. So, I want to introduce to you another really, really beneficial bug. This insect is one of the most important insects that any grower wants to have in their soil. This insect helps the soil build tons of natural, awesome, great nutrition in the garden. It's a natural fertilizer. It also builds the soil. I wanna to introduce to you my red wigglers. Our red wiggler worms, they do not like sunlight or any sort of light at all. So what you're gonna notice is, once I move this protection from their home, you'll see a bunch of worms. Check that out. There's gonna be a whole lot of them. Whoa, look at that. And while I'm talking to you about these worms, I want you to notice how fast they scurry away from the light. Worms really hate the light, but let's talk a little bit about what they love. They absolutely love to eat dirt. They eat dirt because it helps them to digest all the other foods that they will be eating in our garden. They eat dead leaves. They slowly eat eggshells. They love to eat paper. They also eat any food scraps that they can find that is breaking down and rotting in the soil. 
they lay a lot of eggs. And if I am lucky enough, I will find an egg somewhere in the soil. Look, found another one. Now, these eggs are all over my worm bin. And they will, they will hatch in, a, in the next few days. And they'll, they'll make baby worms. And they'll just keep multiplying. I've had this worm farm for the past five years. I've given away so many worms to different schools that I've worked with, and I just keep getting more worms. So one of the things that worms really need is moisture. If the worms have no moisture, they can't breathe. They breathe through their skin, which is kind of interesting. You keep a worm out of moisture for too long, they get dried up, can't breathe, and they die. In some of your kitchens, you might notice that there is a small composter that you collect your food scraps in. Now, if you were interested in making your own little worm farm, you can take your composter and you can put those food scraps inside your little worm farm to feed your worms and they will break down those food scraps so much faster than putting it in the composter outside. Wouldn't it be cool to make your own worm farm? We'll do that next time. I'm Mark Antonio. See you soon, friends.